Hey guys, Jonathan Blizzard here for JM Sports 100 and the JM Sports Show. It is time for JM Sports Picks. This is the Super Bowl Sunday edition, kind of. Uh, no Super Bowl talk in this video. Uh, Super Bowl pick is up. If you haven't seen it already, the pick and the preview are up, so check them out. They're on the channel. Maybe I'll put it in the video somewhere. Maybe I'll put it in the description. Not sure yet. I had a pretty good day though, uh, based off of how we did it. For those of you who didn't see the video, I did not prepare. I did it on the fly. And I haven't done a, vi uh, a pick video on the fly without any preparation in quite a while, so I was a little bit nervous. Uh, I saw some interesting stuff in college basketball. We did call for one upset uh, that came to fruition. There were more upsets, but the one that we called um, went for us. Had an awesome day in the NBA. But first, let's talk college basketball, because that's always how we kick off this JM Sports, uh, these JM Sports Six programs. By the way, it is uh, JM Sports Picks for February 3rd, 2013. So, there you go. Um, I decided I'm not going to do it in this video. I will post a video in the morning uh, giving you the list of award winners um, in the NFL and the Hall of Fame inductees. So they were announced today, so I'll post a video uh, about that tomorrow morning. That's my plan. Anyway, uh, first of all, we saw a matchup between number one and number three in uh, number three Indiana taking on number one Michigan uh, Indiana knocks off Michigan 83 71 so they could be um, on their way back to number one in the land Oklahoma State upsets Kansas 85 to 80 to snap Kansas's uh, winning streak longest winning streak in division uh, one uh, number four Florida beats Ole Miss 78 64 uh, number five, Duke gets by Florida State, 79 to 60. Pittsburgh upsets uh, Syracuse, 65, 55. Uh, number seven, Gonzaga beats San Diego, 65, 63. Arizona beat Washington State, 79, 65. Butler got by Rhode Island, 78 to 68. The one upset we actually called for did happen. Uh, California upsetting number sixteen, uh, number ten rather, Oregon, fifty-eight to fifty-four. Um. Next up, we had uh, number eleven Ohio State beating Nebraska, sixty-three fifty-six. Miami just got by. Uh, North Carolina State, 79-78. Uh, North Carolina State actually dominated a good majority of that game. Northern Iowa upset Wichita State, 57-52. Uh, number 17, Missouri, gets a 91-77 win over Auburn. Number 18, Kansas State wins 52-50 against Oklahoma. Good game there. Uh, number 20, New Mexico beats Nevada, 75-62. Uh, number 21, Creighton gets by Bradley, 75-58. Air Force upsets number 22, San Diego State, 70-67. And number 24, Cincinnati gets a 65-59 win against Seton Hall. All right, we have several games to pick for tomorrow, including uh, a couple of top 25 games. And they look like this, number 25, Marquette, number 17, Louisville, ESPN, 2 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to go with Louisville and uh, Iowa. Taking on number 23, Minnesota, number 23, Minnesota, you can catch it on the Big Ten Network. I'm going to go with uh, Minnesota. So there's uh, a couple of basketball games to uh, wet your appetite, wet, 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 to wet, wet, uh, to wet your sports appetite before the big game tomorrow. Uh, next up, Providence and Villanova. Give me Nova. Uh, South Florida and Connecticut. Give me UConn. Oregon State and Stanford. I am going to go with Stanford, Virginia, and Georgia Tech. I'm going to go with Virginia. And last but not least, Wisconsin and Illinois. I am going to go with the Badgers in that game. They're not being a home I just feel that they are the better team. Let's move now to the NBA, where we had a fantastic day. But before we do that, actually, let's go over our college, football, or college basketball records uh, that are updated. Uh, 456 and 137 on the year, 1,443 wins, 584 losses lifetime. In the NBA, we went 8-1 on Saturday. Very, very pleased with that. 372 wins, 205 losses on the year, 1,267 wins, 497 losses. The lifetime 
record there. Alright. The Bulls got by the Hawks, 93-76. Uh, Lou Dang had a dang good game as he gets 25 uh, in the contest. The Knicks get by the Kings, 121-81. Cleveland gets by Oklahoma City behind 35 points from Kyrie, Irv- Kyrie Irving. Uh, from Kyrie Irving, sorry, uh, 115-110. Uh, Kevin Durant, 32 points in a losing effort for the Thunder. Uh, the Rockets get a 109-95 win against the Bobcats. The Timberwolves get a 115-86 uh, win over the Hornets behind 18 points from Dante Cunningham for the T-Wolves in that game. Uh, the Bucks get a 107-98 win uh, over the Magic to, to keep uh, their losing streak rolling. Monte Ellis led the way for the Bucks in the game with 21 points. Tony Parker led the Spurs with 19 points as San Antonio gets a 96-86 win. Uh, Portland gets a 105-99 win. Uh, from the Utah Jazz and Golden State gets a 113-93 win over the uh, Phoenix Suns. 29 points in that game for Stephen Curry. Or Stephen Curry, however you say that. Uh, I completely forgot. Watched him in college and completely forgot. Alright, we'll talk about the Magic in a second, but first we have a couple of games to pick here. Uh, for tomorrow, Clippers in Boston, NBA TV, 1 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm actually going to go with the Celtics. I don't like what I've seen from the Clippers lately. Uh, Lakers and Pistons, give me the Lakers. And Miami and Toronto. <sighs> going to go with the Heat. So there you go. Those are my uh, three picks for the NBA for tomorrow. And just really quickly, want to touch on the Magic. Uh, don't forget, while I'm getting to where I need to be, Don't forget to uh, check out my Super Bowl preview. For those of you who don't really want to check out my Super Bowl preview, uh, I can just tell you that I'm going with the Ravens, and I did change my mind uh, mid-video. So, um, changing my mind mid-video. Kind of a gutsy move, but I did it. Alright, so now the Magic have now lost. Have now lost nine straight games. They will look on Monday to avoid a ten, tenth straight loss as they play Philadelphia. You look at the schedule. Look at this upcoming schedule. Uh, Sixers could beat them. Clippers could beat them. Cleveland could beat them. Portland could beat them. Atlanta could beat them. I think Charlotte is the first real, true test. I mean, the Clippers haven't played well lately, and the 76ers, you never know what you're going to get from them. But this streak could easily, and this is no dig on, on Charlotte by any means, but but this one could get to 14 straight before you get a fairly winnable game against a Bobcats team who, play, who has played tough at times this year. Once again, don't forget, I'm going with the Ravens tomorrow for the Super Bowl. Hope you enjoy it. Please be safe, party safe, drink safe, and do all that fun stuff that you do. I'll be back tomorrow with picks and for Monday and possibly a little bit of a Super Bowl recap. Plus, tomorrow morning, I will uh, do a recap of all the award winners for this year in the NFL. That's going to do it for me. That for now, though, guys, I am John Lewis up for JM Sports 100 and the JM Sports Show. This has been JM Sports Picks for January, uh, February 3rd, 2013. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. I will see you guys tomorrow or later today.